सो वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस it is lap joint butt joint and their details in the subject design of steel structure if you want pdf of the question that we are going to discuss in the video do go to the description of the video and find the link to telegram channel okay let's go to question number 1 then in fill in the blank joint the members to be connected are kept over each other is it butt joint is it cross joint is it lap joint or dovetail dovetail is a joint in carpentry not in metal okay not in steel structure okay option d let's cancel it then when we are talking about placing the member one above other it is the lap joint okay it is what lap joint option c is the one then the load lines or stress lines in fill in the blank do fill in the blank okay let's go to option to see what the question is exactly saying the load lines or stress line in lap joint coincide c let's first draw a lap joint then let's draw the load or stress line this is the stress line for upper plate this is stress line for lower plate are they coinciding no then option a should be cut down option b should be kept as an option okay option b as an option let's see option c and d butt joint see when we are talking about butt joint then we are talking about this butt joint means just keeping the member side by side and then using cover plate to fix them okay over here nuts or rivets or bolts or whatever the fastener that means to be used over there is done or completed okay see here butt joint then load line is coinciding this is load line for this plate this is load line for second plate they are coinciding therefore option c is also wrong then double cover exactly we have drawn double cover if only one cover was used uh, would be provided then it would be single cover board joint but we have provided cover 1 and cover 2 that's why it is double cover board joint and they are saying the load line do not coincide which is also wrong therefore the correct answer is the load lines or stress lines in lap joint do not coincide okay there is the gap there is an eccentricity in between the load line that's why option b is the correct answer then couple formation in lap joint takes place due to what is the reason for formation of this uh, couple is it absence of cover plate no we do not require cover plate in case of lap joint therefore option c should be wrong now we only have option a and d which is none of the above load or stress line being non collinear yes they do not coincide they are not in one line this is why formation of couple takes place see what a couple needs two forces yes there are two forces two stress lines are there then they are separated by some distance yes they are separated by this eccentricity e and they are opposite in direction that's why this is the perfect scenario for formation of couple and the reason being load or stress line being non collinear not in one line not in not they are not coinciding that's why option a should make the correct answer let's cut option d here okay in lap joint couple form then in a lap joint the minimum lap should not be less than 4t okay 4t means whole time the thickness of thinner member to be connected or 4t mm yes it should not be less than 4t it should not be less than 4t mm and when we are talking about two parameters here we have to go with lesser of a and b the most correct answer here is lesser of a and b whatever is less having less value that is if 4t is less then we should go with 4t if 4t is less we should go with 4t okay 4t 4t okay i am talking about 4 into t and 40 40 40 means they are being pronounced as the same okay then select correct statements regarding lap joint formation of couple yes we just saw how a couple forms when we are talking about when we are having a lap joint then bending of fastener yes since the non eccentricity is there the stress causes bending of the fastener nil eccentricity no eccentricity is there that's why couple is forming that's why bending is taking place we have to cut point number 3 okay what we should go with Point one and two. That's why we will go with option A, one and two. Then, in fill in the blank joint, members to be connected are kept end to end. Yes, in butt joint, what we have to do? Members are kept end to end alongside each other. We can have single cover butt joint. We can have 
double cover bone joint that's why option a is right option b is right we should go with c both okay okay we have to choose true or false for the given statement cover plate is mandatory in butt joint but not at all needed in lap joint yes this is right because when we are talking about lap joint member one is here member two is there and this overlap okay lap joint overlap this overlap is used for fastener for connecting them with with uh, fastener we use this overlap and in butt joint what we have to do we have to place first member like this second member like this now how we are going to get the specific overlap in order to have fastener connected in format of bolt is there in format of rivet is there how we are going to achieve this we can have a cover plate here like this then we can install the bolt or we can have another cover plate like this it will be double double cover bolt joint okay that's why cover plate is mandatory in butt joint but not at all needed in lap joint this statement is saying truthful thing that's why we will tick a then select correct statement or statements regarding butt joint no eccentricity is generated yes since the load lines or stress lines are coinciding or they are collinear there is no eccentricity no couple for obviously there is no eccentricity that's why no couple formation will be there option 2 is also right bending of fastener no since there is no eccentricity no couple no bending will take place therefore option 3 is wrong cover plate is optional no cover plate is mandatory we have to use cover plate when we are talking about butt joint okay of point number 4 is wrong therefore the correct answer is option d 1 and 2 okay then transfer of shear strength through double cover butt joint is almost what it is almost half that of lap joint okay it is half that of lap joint okay we have to write lap here in lap joint if shear is 1 then if shear is 1 then in case of double cover butt joint it will be 0.5 only okay so that was all regarding the topic if you loved the video do press thumbs up and if you want to see more of such videos do subscribe simplified learning till then take care bye bye